Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing sequence and series, and this is the lecture number 15. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 14 before watching this part 15. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems as well and uh, from miscellaneous exercise. So, uh, starting from there only, miscellaneous miscellaneous exercise. Right? So, starting from question number 21. In 21, it is given that find the sum of following series of two n terms. Find the sum of following series following series up to n terms up to n terms right and the first one very first one of this uh, question age it is given that 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 5 5 up to n terms we did this type of question in exercise as well and how to deal with this question we have learned that 5 to be taken common then 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 1 1 plus up to n terms right now so this can be written as if you divide by 9 and multiply by 9 then it should be 9 99 triple 9 we did it like n terms right so that can be written as 5 by 9 and this is 10 minus 1 that will be 10 square minus 1 100 minus 1 that will be 10 q minus 1 that is 1000 minus 1 is triple 9 up to n terms right and uh, then this can be written as 5 by 9 into 10 plus 10 square plus 10 q up to n terms n terms minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 in n terms is minus n 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 2 times 2 terms minus 2 3 terms minus 3 so n terms minus n now we can have this is in gp and gp is sum of n term of gp is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 because a is here 10 r is also 10 minus n. so that will be 5 by 9 into 10 by 9 10 to the power n minus 1 minus n that will be the answer of this question or either you will write answer like this or you can write here answer 5 by 81 9, 9, 81, take calcium and then what will happen? 10 into 10 to the power n minus 1 minus 9n and that can be written as 5 to the power 81, 5 by 81, 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 10 minus 9n minus 10, right? And that will be answer also. So you can write in any one of those form. Okay, I hope you got it. Now the second part of this question is given here that is second part is given that in similar fashion this is 0 0.6, 0 0.66, 0 0.6, 0 0.66 plus 0 0.666 plus 0.666 like this up to n terms. So you can do this also if you took 6 common then what will happen 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.111 up to n terms isn't it? Can we write like this? Now we can divide by 9 and multiply by 9. So this is 9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999 up to n terms. Isn't it? Now uh, this 9, point 9 means what? 9 by 10. So that can be written as 9 by 10. This is 99 by 100. This is triple 9 by 100, 1000 like this up to n terms just for simplification I have written this step otherwise there is no need we can do it like 6 by 9 into 1 minus 1 by 10 can I write like this can I write this 1 minus 1 by 100 can I write this 1 minus 1 by 1000 like this up to n terms now 1 plus 1 plus 1 in n terms it will be n so that will be n minus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 that is 10 square 1 by 1000 that is 10 q up to n terms negative sign is taken common so what will be that 6 by 9 into n minus a is 1 by 10 
वन माइनस आर टू दावर एन अपॉन वन माइनस आर दिस इज वॉट विल कम एंड इन दैट केस द आंसर विल कम लाइक सिक्स बाई नाइन सिक्स बाई नाइन दैट विल कम सिक्स बाई नाइन इंटू वन बाई टेन इंटू वन माइनस टेन बाई टू दावर एन अपॉन नाइन बाई टेन वन माइनस आर and n minus right now this is 9 by 10 this is n minus that will come so this 10 and this 10 can cancels out and the finally it will be 6 by 9 into what n minus 1 by 9 into 1 minus 10 to the power n and that will be answered if you took calcium You will be uh, writing here nine and minus one and all these. That is the simplest thing you can do yourself. Okay. So this is a question number twenty-one. Two part of question number twenty-one. Now question number twenty-two. Let us write question number twenty-two. And in that question, find the twentieth term of the series. Find the twentieth term. Twentieth term of the series. Two into four plus four into six plus six into eight up to n terms. Find twentieth terms of the series. When what will be twentieth term? So you can analyze this for solution. We can write two four six. That is first term is two times of one. Second term is two times of two. Third term is three times of two. So tn is equal to tn is equal to 2n into this is second component is two more just two more you know this is two more so 2n into 2n plus two that will be tn term and therefore t20 is equal to put n is equal to 20 2 into 20 2 into 20 plus two that is 40 and this is 40 plus two is 42. So that will be four two ja eight and four four ja sixteen zero answer. This is question number twenty two. I hope you got it right now. So find the twentieth term of the series. Now question number twenty three. You can have question number twenty three. Find the sum of first n terms of the series. Question is find the sum of first n terms. of the series of the series and series is given 3 plus 7 plus 13 plus 21 plus 31 plus like this so how to deal with this question this sequence is 3 plus 4 7 their difference is 4 and 7 plus 6 is 13 so difference is 6 13 plus 8 is 21 so difference is 8 here difference is 10 So this is not in AP, but the difference of the terms are in AP. So whenever there are such question, uh, you can do the solutions like let S is equal to three plus seven plus thirteen plus twenty one plus thirty one up to T n minus one plus T n term. This is what. Now again S can be written as three plus seven plus thirteen plus Twenty-one plus thirty-one till here below T n. This will be T n minus one plus T n, right? Now? So if I subtract these two, what will happen? S minus S is zero, and here three plus seven minus three is four. Sign will change, na? Everywhere there is sign change, so that will be all negative. I hope you got it. So seven minus Three is four, plus thirteen minus seven is six, plus eight plus ten like this, up to n terms minus t n. So this t n will come this side and it will be t n is equal to three plus four plus six plus eight plus ten up to n terms, right? So that can be written as. One plus two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten plus up to n terms, 
right? And except because 3 is being distributed in 2 terms, so term will remain n but 1 will be extra. This is sum of n even natural numbers and sum of n even natural number is what? Nothing else n into n plus 1, you know that? Or otherwise you can calculate with formula of AP. So this is Tn term. It means Tn term is n square plus n plus 1. And now we have to find the sum of n terms. So Tn is known and you have to find sum of n terms. So Sn is equal to sigma Tn. Can we apply like this? And then it will be n square plus sigma n plus sigma 1. Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6. Sigma n is nothing else n into n plus 1 by 2 and sigma 1 is n. 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times is n. So we can take n common from it and that will be 2n square plus 3n plus 1 divided by 6 plus n plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and that will be n by 12 LCM is 12 and if you multiply by 2 that will be 4n square plus 3 to the 6n and 6n will come from here also so 6n plus 6n is 12n right now and uh, 2 multiply by 1 is 2 and 6 multiply by 1 is 6 so 6 plus 2 8 and 12 multiply by 1 is 12 so that will be 20 right now so this will be answer i hope you got it even you can took 4 common from it and you will have n by 3 and 4 it will take common n square plus 3 n plus 4 that will be answer right now 4 can be taken then 5 will be left it will left 5 plus 5 will be there and that will be answered. So the last question was very important one. When the difference of the sequence are in AP, then you can do like that. So use that and wherever it is required, you will use this concept. This is very important. You can mark it. Now question number 23 is there, 24 is there and 24 question is given. If S1, S2, S3 if S1, S2, S3 are the sum of n natural number, are the sum of n natural number, sum of n natural number, numbers, their squares and cubes respectively. respectively then so that so that what we need to show 9 s2 whole square is equal to s3 into 1 plus 8s1 8s1 right so we can write solution we know s1 is sum of n natural number so sum of n natural number sum of first n natural number first n natural number natural number and that is therefore s1 is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 s2 is sum of similarly s2 is sum of s squares of first n natural number first n natural number natural number and therefore S2 must be equal to n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6. S3 is sum of cubes of first n natural number. Similarly, S3 is sum of cubes of first n natural number. Cubes of first n natural number, n natural number. And therefore, S3 is equal to what? n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. Now, as per the question S3 from RHS, from RHS now, from RHS is S3 into 1 plus 8S1 is what? S3 into 1 plus 8S1 can be written as 
एस थ्री इज एन स्क्वायर एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई फोर एंड वन प्लस एन इंटू एन प्लस वन बाई टू इंटू एट एट एस वन सो दैट कैन बी फोर टाइम्स राइट ना सो दिस विल बी फोर टाइम्स ऑफ दैट सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन इंटू एन प्लस वन एन स्क्वायर प्लस एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर बाई फोर इंटू दिस विल बी वन प्लस फोर एन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एन राइट ना सो दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज अगेन दिस विल बी एन स्क्वायर एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर एंड दैट इज नथिंग एल्स बट टू एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर टू एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर राइट ना नाउ इफ वी डिवाइड बाय नाइन एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय नाइन नाइन टाइम्स ऑफ एन एन प्लस वन स्क्वायर दैट इज टू एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर and if you multiply by 9 so divide by 9 9 4 is 36 that can be written as n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 whole divided by 6 whole square can i write like this and this is nothing else but s2 square so that is lhs and this can be proved i hope you got it so this is lhs nothing else but lhs right Okay, so starting from RHS, you can prove to LHS. Now let us discuss question number twenty-five. And question number twenty-five is given that find the sum of following series. Find the sum of following series. Series up to n terms. Up to n terms, right? And the series is given as. One q by one minus one q plus two q divided by one plus three plus this is plus also one q plus two q plus three q divided by one plus three plus five plus up to this here. So t n term definitely uh, we can write here this is a special sequence. So we can go ahead with this solution is. T n term here, T n term can be written as because in second term the it is up to two q in third term up to three q so in T n term it will be one q plus two q plus three q up to n q and this one here also there will be in first one there is one term second term there is two component one plus three one plus three plus five sum of three odd natural number. So similarly here, one plus three plus five up to n terms, right? Now, so that is nothing else. Sum of cubes of n natural number that is n into n plus one by two whole square will come. And in denominator, because this is sum of all n odd natural numbers, so it will be n square. I hope you got it. Now, t n is equal to. Therefore, t n is equal to. It will come like. One by four n square n plus one whole square whole divided by n square n square n square cancel that will be one by four and n square plus two n plus one. Now to find sum we can use sigma s n is equal to sigma t n and sigma t n is one by four sigma of n square plus two times sigma of n. Plus sigma of one. I hope you got it. Now that will come up like one by four. Sigma n square is n into n plus one to n plus one whole divided by six, and this is two times of n into n plus one by two, and sigma one is n, nothing else. So two and two cancels out. We can take n common from it. And what will happen? That will be n by four into this will be two n square plus three n plus one divided by six plus here n plus one will left and there one is left, right now. So we can do this n by twenty four into two n square plus three n plus one plus six n. 
plus 1 plus 1 2 2 multiply by 6 is 12 so that will be n by 24 into 2n square 6n plus 3n 9n plus 13 that will be answer so you can write answer like this only i hope you got it now let us solve question number 21 it is given that so that so that what is that 1 into 2 cube 2 square plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 4 square like that up to n into n plus 1 whole square whole divided by 1 square into 2 plus 2 square into 3 plus 3 square into 4 like that n square into n plus 1 and that is equal to 3n plus 5 whole divided by 3n plus 1 that you have to calculate. So numerator is equal to do it separately here numerator is equal to solution will be there numerator is tn of numerator right here tn of numerator tn of numerator is given by n into n plus 1 whole square that will be n into n square plus 2n plus 1 and which is uh, n cube plus 2 times of n square plus n and denominator also therefore sum of numerators is equal to what sn of numerator will be therefore sn of numerator is equal to given by sigma tn that is sigma n cube plus twice of sigma n square plus sigma n that will be sigma n q is what sigma n q is n square n plus 1 whole square by 4 plus what is that this is 2 times of sigma n square sigma n square is nothing else but n into n plus 1 2 n plus 1 whole divided by 6 and sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2 so we can write like this and you can take it n into n minus plus 1 by 2 common what will happen n into n plus 1 by 2 left and here 2 times of 2n plus 1 by 3 will left and here 1 will left so that can be calculated as n into n plus 1 by 2 into this will be n square plus n into 3 times plus 2 to the 4 times of 2n plus 1 plus 6 divided by 6 so that will be n into n plus 1 by 12 into this will be 3n square plus n that is a uh, n only right now so that will be n only so that will be 3n square plus 3n plus 8n plus 4 plus 6 right so that will be nothing else but n into n plus 1 by 12 and that will be 3n square 8n plus 3n is 11n plus 10 i can write like this right now so 10 3 is the 30 and 6 5 the 30 so we can break them n into n plus 1 and that will be further 3n and 6n so 3n n plus 2 n plus 2 into 3n plus 5 whole divided by 12 this is first part now similarly for denominator also tn of denominator is similarly tn of denominator denominator Rater is given by n square into n plus 1 that is n q plus n square and therefore sum sn of denominator is equal to drs in short form is given by sigma tn right sigma tn and sigma tn is what 
that is sigma n cube plus sigma n square that is nothing else but n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square plus n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 upon 6 it is so we can take here also n into n plus 1 by 2 common n into n plus 1 by 2 if I took common then what will happen n into n plus 1 by 2 is left one of them left because it was a square and here 2n plus 1 by 3 will left so that will be n into n plus 1 by 2 that will be 3n square plus 3n plus 4n plus 2 divided by 6 right now so that will be n into n into n plus 1 by 12 6 to the 12 and that will be 3n square if I took common 3n square plus 7n plus 2 right now that can be written as n into n plus 1 and that will be 3n square plus 6n so n plus 2 will be there and 3n plus 1 will be there right now yes so 3n plus 1 divided by 12 now as per question so required sum is equal to numerator and upon denominator is what numerator is n into n plus 1 n plus 2 into 3n plus 5 divided by 12 whereas denominator will be n into n plus 1 n plus 2 3n plus 1 divided by 12 again so the same thing is there everything will cancels out only what is left 3n plus 5 upon 3n plus 1 and that is the required answer so this is rhs rhs and that will be proved right now so this is nothing else but rhs this one is rhs so we can do that i hope you got it right now so this is a type of questions which you need to solve and some skills are required to solve this type of questions definitely you will be able to do this but after some practice so do practice again and again of the same questions and grab the concept behind the questions so that you will be able to think about the questions whenever this kind of any one of these kind of questions will come in for you and you will be able to analyze it so thank you thank you very much and uh, after the break we will complete the remaining question till then bye bye god bless